Here we go. And who do we want to take with us? If this is a sort of a main mission, we're probably not going to be able to swap people out too much. So we've got to be careful uh, and strategic, I guess, about who we're, who we're taking with us. So Liara, she can do electronics. Um, and then who else? Caden, Tali, and Garrus. I think we're going to take Garrus because he can do decryption. And then thinking either Liara or Caden because they can both do electronics. Hmm. I feel like we haven't hung out with Caden too much. Maybe that's just me. Let, let's just go. Go with these two, Garrison and Caden. I think that's going to cover our bases. With Plus, Garrus is just kind of one of the more interesting Logged. personalities to me, so I wouldn't sp Exo mind spending Presley more time with him. Alright. Yes, it's me, Commander Shepard. There's the welcoming committee over there. I assume they're not just going to shoot at us on sight, because they're going to make sure that we actually are who we say we are. Maiko Matsuo. That's far enough. Uh, yes, Something what's wrong? wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. No, I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo. Elanis Risk Control Services. Uh, interesting. Do we want to go with our alliance affiliation or with the council? I mean, yeah, let's just drop the specter bomb on them. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Yeah, I don't think so. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Uh, we'll cooperate, or I'm keeping my gun. Uh, let's talk this through. Let's not start a fight. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. There we go. You may proceed, I told you. Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Arasini san. All right. Looks like a nice enough place. Of course, that probably means it's not, but at least it's nice to walk through. All right. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. Oh, I don't. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Hey, no, no harm, no foul. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Yeah, everyone seems a little jumpy. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Well, specters are here... Are not here to uh, preserve privacy. I'm sorry I can't to say. Have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an sorry lawyer to see the case through. I, I'm not scared. I can I can handle it. Uh, let's get to the. Has anyone unusual the task at hand? Recently? Unusual? An sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Uh oh. Saren's aide is here. She's bad news. Uh, and she's where exactly? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. All right, and yeah, let's let's head there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Who is your boss, I'm guessing? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. All right. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. 
Commander, maybe we should tell Liara that her mother's here, or bring her along. Maybe she can reason with Benezia. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a bad idea. Interesting. So, sh so okay. Maybe we should go back and swap Caden out for Liara. Hello, I'd like to check in. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Well, if they made a point to say something about uh, swapping out our crew, then I'm inclined to agree with them. So, let's just head back over here and make the transfer real quick. I'm curious if when we re-emerge from the Normandy with, uh, with Liara, if she'll say anything about it. Uh, presumably, we tell her uh, in between the time that we go in and re-emerge. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. Oh yeah, it's always a party. All right. Logged. The commanding officer is yep. aboard. Don't get too comfortable. Sorry, Liara and Garrus. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right, Liara. Uh, let's let's chat, you and I. I do not like this place. Oh, Too many dark not in the mood for a conversation. That's fine, but uh, you should know your mom's here. So there's that, and she and uh, and her buddy Saren kind of want to destroy the galaxy. So any advice would be nice. Um, I don't know where Garrus was. Garrus is. We kind of left him way back there. It's okay, he'll catch up. I assume. There he is. Always believe in you, buddy. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. No, thank you. So let's see what these folks have to say. The managers warned us about you. Yeah, well, they warned me about you too. That there was somebody who was really nasty to new people. Oh, Merchant Opold. Yes. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanshan. Word travels fast. News travels fast. <laughs> yeah. Jinx. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be ah, made, our first it job. would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring mm. it through customs. Uh, what kind of item are we talking about? You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's ask some more questions. What exactly is it? I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. Hmm. Okay, and who's getting it? I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer yeah, prefers to course. remain anonymous. Um. Oh, okay. We could <laughs> we could finally use these options for once. Nice. Will be nice. Hey, um, buddy, pal. I'm a Spectre, you can trust me. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing that I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. All right. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. 
So now if we go back, can you tell us the contents? I won't carry anything if I don't know. This one must okay, be discreet. No. All right. Rest assured. Uh, the contents pose no threat to anyone within all right. this port. All right. You know what? We'll do it. I mean, he seem you seem pretty um you seem like a solid guy. I have no problem with that. I mean, you seem gaseous. You don't seem solid, but you know what I mean. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Oh. To our vessel. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Yeah, which probably means is killing. Is there anything else no this doubt. one might help you with? Yeah, well, uh, I wonder if we do this job for him, if we'll, if we'll get a discount. But let's see what he's got. Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Uh, everything. Non-human armors, upgrades, standard items. Okay, well, let's start with standard and then work our way around. All right, so how much cash we got? 116 grand. Not bad. Uh, materials license. I f feel like those are always good for the Normandy. We'll grab that for sure. Grenade upgrade two increases the maximum. Oh, yes. Maximum number of grenades carried by one. We will definitely take that. And then let's see. Various types of human armor. I wish there was... Oh, there's a compare button. Ha. Huh. Okay. So, let's see. This Titan armor is... I think we have it equipped on... Um, who was it? Ashley right now. And we can only wear light armor at the moment, I believe, because we haven't upgraded uh, in the armor category. I think we're okay for the time being. Uh, what about the shotgun? Um, nope, ours, ours is better, <laughs> even though it's a level 4. Assault rifle, I mean, that would be good for Ashley, but we don't really need it. Uh, let's see what we could sell. Um... Wow, we've got a whole bunch of level 1 stuff. You know what? I'm guessing that level 1 stuff is less valuable than level 2 stuff. So I'm thinking we sell our level 2 stuff, maximize our cash, and then change all of our level 1 stuff to Omnigel, because I'm guessing they're that level 1 and level 2... Well, actually, we could just check. We don't have to guess. Are level 1 and level 2 items going to be the same amount of Omni-Gel, is what I'm wondering. So let's see. This converts into 6 Omni-Gel. Yeah, okay. So it looks like everything will convert equally. Let's just test this theory. That's 6, right? Oh, no, that's how much we had. Uh, okay, so we got 4 from that, because we had 6. So what about now? Uh, that's also four. Yeah. So looks like the same amount of Omni Gel, no matter what. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought? I'm here to shop. Yep, yep, yep. Of course. This. All right. So we'll sell all of our. Mm, do we want to sell our level three stuff? Maybe, because we're getting a ton of level four items. Um. Maybe. Uh, well, let's just play it safe at the moment. We haven't done a full squad reorganization in a while. So let's sell all of these level 2 things. Yep, sell. Why, why am I not able to sell? Oh, I've got to hit accept. Okay. Uh, let me make sure it's on the things that I want to do. Um, okay. Yep, yep. Ammo upgrades, armor upgrades... This pistol, armor, shotgun, armor, shotgun, armor. Uh, oh. Okay, this is a level 3 Omni tool. I don't... I think we've got to equip our engineers with that. Okay, so we've got some cash. And I don't think there's anything else we need from him at the moment. From that store. Greetings, Spectre. I'm just browsing right now. Oops. Let's try return. that again. Yep, yep. Talk to me. Greetings, Spectre. Have you All right. brought I'm here to shop. Of course. Alright, so non-human armors. Wonderful. We've got Turian level 6, Krogan level 5. That's 49,000, so that's, you know, up there. 
Uh, Garrus, what is he wearing right now? Oh, he's got level one armor. Yeah, keep... Well, hopefully he's got the capability for medium armor. Let's just double check if we can. Uh, Garrus. Quit medium armor. No, we but we can get him to medium armor. Is that what we want to do? Uh, we also wanted to build his electronic skill as well. Mm. I seem to remember he go he's going down fairly easily, so... Why don't we go ahead and get him medium armor, and now we'll start working our way up to the electronic skill. Uh, oh, Liara has a couple points as well. So the singularity... Uh, I think we're done for her electronics tree. Advanced first aid would be okay. But I think we can sort of start maxing out her biotic abilities. So singularity... Uh, advanced, advanced lift, advanced throw, increases the force of the throw and the radius. Let's see, sure, why don't we get our lift and our singularity up to the second level. So we'll start with this one because we're almost there. And then Shepard, we're, we're topped off. Okay. Greetings, Spectre. So, why don't we grab the armor for Garrus. Medium armor, 36. Uh, yep. That's what we want. And then we've got one more store to look at. Have you brought here to shop. Of course. We want to view upgrades. Apologizes for oh, there's only one. Grenade upgrade, level 4. Uh, we don't use grenades all that much, and that's kind of pricey. So, that that's, that's okay. Alright, Garrus. I'm going to trick you out in level 5 medium armor. And, oh, that looks great. What, what can we give you? Health regen or plus 10% shields, mobile accuracy, and cooldown reduction. Yeah, that seems like a winner to me. And then we can give him... Hmm, this level 4 sniper is better than the level 5 one he has currently. So, yeah, may as well. And then what else can he use? I think it's the assault rifle. I don't recall. But he's got the top one anyway. Alright. So thanks to the shopkeep. So at some point we'll have to swing back. Uh, well, we're so close. We may as well do it. Go back to our ship and grab whatever that sketchy package um, the Hanar wanted to pass on. Oh, whoops. This is somebody's office. Let's not go in there yet. How have I, how have I gotten lost already? <laughs> All right, I think it's up in here and to the right. All right, we will head back, grab that package. Oh, it's down the elevator, though. No. All right, we'll do it later. Never mind. I forgot that we had to... We traveled up in a semi-loading screen. You want to talk to me? I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. All right, fair enough. Carry on. Okay, let's see whose office this is. Uh, probably the big boss, right? Considering there are guards here. Some cool computer lounge chairs. Actually, they don't look like they'd be super comfortable, to be honest. Not very ergonomic. But, what do I know? Hey, I recognize you. Hello. How can I help you? Uh, where's the boss man? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas. Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. All right. Let's go chat. The nice office. Are we on a camera? Or no, that's like a security turret. Okay. Hello. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I mean, I'm sure my reputation precedes me. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. 
All right. Well, uh, just a couple things to ask do you, you about. Do business with Saren? Agent Saren, one of your Spectre compatriots. Mm. He's a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Okay, and there's something sketchy going is on. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. And, well, it's my business now. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Uh, oh, all kinds of things to ask. Uh, define cargo. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. And security, I'm guessing. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person. Mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. And any inside scoop? What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She's here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Well, let's get on her calendar if we can. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, you can see the shadow the of the little Shuttles security drone in the background. Access has been cut off. Back to my other questions. Okay. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. <laughs> I will keep a running tally. Um, uh, we're not going to daub in our, our buddy. No, I think we're done here. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Yeah, well, thanks for nothing. I'm going to steal from your safe. Oh, okay. It's locked. Never mind. Um, I'm surprised Liara didn't jump in. We did bring her along because we thought she'd, uh... Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Okay. Uh, explain. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Yeah, clearly. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Well, try. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen. Mr. Analeas is yeah. the only one with a You said that before. Pension. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. Okay. And then so these labs are like actually in the mountains out there, huh? How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Mm -hmm. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. And what kind of companies? Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic oh. Insights Limited. Okay. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Elanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. Binary Helix is Saren's company. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist I like groups. Binary Helix. That's kind of a cool name, actually. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest yeah. heavily here. I'm sure it's not too popular with uh, what happened I've with the GAF. Of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job. People are a little gun shy after uh, after the whole get scenario. Understandably so. Okay, so we've got our contact to talk to. They said he was at the bar. So let's just take a stroll to see if there's anyone else to chat to down here. And then we will, I mean, uh, okay, this looks like a garage of uh, some kind. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to get through there. And we don't want to leave this facility yet. But we'll see who, if anybody, is willing to talk to us. We're essentially a persona non grata in this uh, complex. Oh, are either of you the... Uh, 
No, okay. I guess this isn't really a bar area. Oh, this looks more promising. Oh, another elevator. I guess I should have looked at the map to see exactly where we're going, but this kind of looks restaurant slash bar-ish. Up we go. Oh, there we go. I'm hearing some of that sweet club music in the background. I think we are in exactly the right place. Alright, just in case something... Uh, oh, we can't save in an elevator. Just in case something goes down here. And you never know. We might get into a brawl. Stranger things have happened. Me. I need a of your oh, time. please. Take all the time you need. The male human at the hotel bar... He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dulce. <laughs> that makes you ideal yeah, for Yeah, I guess job. so. You are a known quantity. We, we don't exactly blend in. Think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my real intentions. And so I'm doing your dirty work, huh? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. All right, and you picked me out uh, randomly, huh? I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, yeah. to be specific. Not just rumors. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. Oh. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. And, uh, what's in it for us? What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Uh, I mean, 500 is pretty much chump change, considering we're sitting at 110,000. You know, we could say that we'll do it and just not do it. Uh, maybe we can talk to Liara and get her take on it. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Yeah, go for it. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. Okay, to the point. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. Oh, interesting. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. Okay, oh, look, and we can even quit. Great. All right, sounds good. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. So it almost sounds like... Uh corporate espionage here. I don't... I. She's clearly hiding something. Liara, any uh, input? Do not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. Yeah. This is a place of secrets and lies. Yep, thanks for your help. Alright, oh, there's our contact. Let's just do a loop. Good. I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They'd only write them down on thin script. Full benefits, of course. Go on, on back here. This is the VIP section? Oh, okay. Never mind. And this is a businessman. Hello. You're the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. Fine. Uh, there's Vargas. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if we want to work for this lady. Let's just, let's talk with him first. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Uh, you're you the Lord guy King? I want to see. I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? Uh, well, 
I mean, it's obvious that we're a Spectre by this point, so let's just be up front. I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Uh, yeah, kickbacks, right. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. Yeah, I'm sure. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. Uh, I'm gonna need you to elaborate on the Nathak. How did you get a pass? Guess not, okay. I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. Yeah, all in. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... Oh, what is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? <laughs> uh, honey? Violence against Mr. Analeus's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Hanshan's security team searching my offices. Yeah. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo I figured. is unaware of their outside employment. So... Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to shoot them, but, uh, I mean, they're criminals. He's paying them under the table. They're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do Perfect. try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Uh, no, no promises. Alright, we've got our marching orders. Let's take a look at our journal entry. Where is the... Espionage? Oh, okay. Look, it even <laughs> it even tells us there that it's espionage. So, I don't know. Do we do we wanna do we wanna do this? I mean, it, it would be fun just for the experience, but uh, you know, ethically, I don't know if it's the right thing. Anyway, fortunately, we don't have to make a decision right this moment. We've got a office to uh, to breach. So we've met, so that guy, Lorik Keen, was from Synthetic Insights. And then what were the other two? Binary Helix is Saren, so we're probably not going to get to talk to them. They're, they're all out doing their tests or whatever at their, their complex. And then, what was the other company? Oh, the, the guards, essentially. Okay, so we basically have, um, oh, hang on. We don't know how to get to his office. Uh, hotel... Docking bay. There we go. Synthetic insights. <clears throat> uh, we, we've essentially met somebody from every company at this point, or or know what they're about. And how exactly do I get in there? I thought this was the way to the garage. Are there multiple elevators up here? Um, what's this? Oh, okay. Oh, that must be the garage one. He's gonna tell us that we can't get in, obviously. I don't even- I don't have to talk to him to know that already. But, uh, alright. Up we go. So, we'll save when we get to the top, because it's likely to go down. And we will- we'll probably get a chance to talk it through before we go in guns blazing. Alright, here we go.